Hello and welcome to the Investing Iguana, where we help you make smart and informed decisions about your money. I'm your host, Iggy, and today we're going to talk about Thai Beverage Stock, one of the largest beverage companies in Southeast Asia. Is this stock worth investing in 2023? Let's find out. Thai Beverage, or Thai Bev for short, is a leading producer and distributor of alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages in Thailand and other countries. It has four main business segments, spirits, beer, non-alcoholic beverages, and food. It owns some of the most popular brands in the region, such as Chang Beer, Mekong Whiskey, Oishi Green Tea, and KFC Restaurants. Based on current data, Thai Beverage closed up 0.78% on Tuesday at 0.65 Singapore dollars. The stock has a 52-week range of 0.5550 to 0.7250 and a market cap of 16.205 billion SGD. The stock has a P.E. ratio of 12.90 and a forward dividend yield of 3.73%. Taibev has been facing some challenges in recent years due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which affected its sales volume and profitability. The lockdowns and social distancing measures in Thailand and other markets reduced the demand for its products, especially in the on-premise channels such as bars and restaurants. The company also had to deal with higher raw material costs, foreign exchange losses, and increased competition from other players. However, Taibev has also shown some resilience and recovery in its business performance. The company has been implementing various initiatives to adapt to the changing consumer behavior and preferences, such as expanding its online and delivery channels, launching new products and promotions, enhancing its cost efficiency and productivity, and strengthening its balance sheet and cash flow. The company has also resumed its dividend payments after suspending them last year due to the pandemic. The company has also been pursuing growth opportunities through strategic investments and partnerships. In February 2023, the company announced that it had restarted the process to list its regional beer unit, Beer Co., on the Singapore Exchange, after postponing it twice due to market volatility. The company aims to raise up to $1 billion by selling up to 20% stake in Beer Co., which owns brands such as Chang, Archa, and Federbrow. The listing is expected to unlock value for shareholders and enhance Beer Co.'s competitiveness in the region. In addition, the company has been expanding its presence in new markets and segments through acquisitions and joint ventures. In March 2023, the company acquired a 75% stake in Myanmar Distillery Company, the largest spirits producer in Myanmar, for $742 million. The deal will allow Thai Beverage to tap into the fast-growing Myanmar market and leverage its distribution network and brand portfolio. In April 2023, the company entered into a joint venture with PepsiCo to produce and distribute PepsiCo's beverages in Thailand. The joint venture will enable Thai Beverage to strengthen its non-alcoholic beverage segment and offer more choices to consumers. The company also has a strong balance sheet and cash flow generation, which support its dividend policy and growth initiatives. The company had a net debt-to-equity ratio of 0.54 as of December 2022, which is manageable given its stable earnings and cash flow. The company generated $1.4 billion of operating cash flow and $1 billion of free cash flow in FI 2022. The company declared a final dividend of 0.48 baht per share for FI 2022, bringing the total dividend to 0.67 baht per share, representing a payout ratio of 60% and a yield of 3.7%. Based on these factors, we have a positive outlook on Thai Beverage's stock performance in the medium to long term. We believe that the company has a resilient business model that can withstand the challenges posed by the pandemic and benefit from the recovery of consumer demand and economic activity. We also think that the company has attractive growth prospects through its regional expansion and product diversification strategies. We assign a buy rating to Thai Beverage's stock with a target price of 0.82 SGD per share, implying a potential upside of 25% from its current price of 0.65 SGD per share. According to UOBK High End Research, Taibev is a buy with a target price of 85 cents, implying a 30% upside from current levels. UOB believes that Taibev's earnings will rebound strongly in 2023 as the COVID-19 situation improves and vaccination rates increase in its key markets.
UOB expects TIBEV sales volume to grow by 10% year-on-year in 2023, driven by a recovery in the on-premise channel and a continued growth in the off-premise channel. UOB also expects TIBEV's margins to improve as it benefits from lower raw material costs, higher operating leverage, and better product mix. On the other hand, some analysts are more bearish on TIBEV's prospects as they see risks in its operating environment and valuation. They argue that Taibev's earnings recovery may be slower than expected due to the uncertainty and volatility of the COVID-19 situation and the potential for further lockdowns or restrictions in its markets. They also point out that Taibev faces regulatory risks such as higher excise taxes or alcohol bans in Thailand and other countries. Moreover, they contend that Taibev's valuation is not cheap compared to its peers in the region or globally. So what do I think about Thai Beverage stock? Well, I think it's a decent stock with some potential upside, but also some downside risks. On one hand, I like that Thai Bev has a strong market position and brand recognition in Southeast Asia, which is a large and growing consumer market. I also like that Thai Bev has a diversified portfolio of products that can cater to different segments and occasions. On the other hand, I'm concerned about the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on its business performance and outlook. I'm also not sure if Taibev can sustain its competitive edge and profitability amid rising costs and competition. Therefore, I would say that Thai beverage stock is not a buy or a sell for me right now. It's more of a hold or a watch and wait. I would like to see more signs of recovery and growth in its sales volume and margins before I invest in this stock. I would also like to see more clarity on its strategic plans and vision for the future. Taibev has announced that it is exploring the sale of its KFC franchise business in Thailand, which could generate some cash proceeds for the company. Taibev has also said that it will again defer the spin-off and initial public offering, IPO, of its regional beer business, Beer Co., due to recent market volatility. The company will review the spin-off and listing when market conditions permit. I think these could be catalysts for Thai beverage stock if they result in some positive changes or surprises. So there you have it, folks. That's my take on Thai beverage stock. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree with me? That's all for today's episode of The Investing Iguana. I hope you learned something new and useful about Keppel Corporation. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and insights. We hope this video has been helpful and informative. If you enjoyed it, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos on personal finance and investing. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our future uploads. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll try our best to answer them. And if you have any suggestions for topics that you want us to cover in our next video, please let us know as well. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.